Blessings to the fire signs and welcome to the priestess prophecies for your weekly reading. We are going to be using our wisdom of the hidden realms tarot cards. Sorry, oracle cards. Oh, I got my cards. No, I was stuck. Sorry, I was shuffling them upside down. That's why they looked weird. Anyway, to our fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sash, we are going to get into the wisdom of the hidden realms oracle cards they will give us an ally or a challenger aspect of things and see what's going on for you for this week we'll then tap into the light seers cards and get an energy for you around all of that we'll look into the present energy a little bit closer and see what's going on for that today and clarify everything with the vice versa tarot all right guys and do stick around for the end because at the end of each one of the readings today for aries leo and sagittarius we will do a double oracle card do hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any of the readings i do appreciate you blessings also to our angels ancestors way showers and guides we honor the wisdom you bring forth for our dear fire signs for this week Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. I just wanted to remind you that if you do have any special prayer requests, donate to the channel through any of the options below in the description box and put in the message area, um, you know, where you make the donation, what the prayer is about, and I will be sure to get your prayer out for you, okay? So this is for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for your energy for this week from the wisdom of the hidden realms. Hmm. You also got the River Queen. I'm going to get another card for you because Air Signs just got this. But let's be aware that you're tapping into your flow as well. Very interesting when that same exact card came out. Show us what's going on for our Fire Signs, please. All right, Fire Signs, we have the Resting Tree, Patience and Stillness. So this is you getting quiet right now we are needing to tap into ourselves and see what is going on within us okay this energy says patience and stillness this person is resting here it looks like yep there's a candle lit so light some candles maybe you need to get by or in the water take a salt bath you know this is a time where something um big has happened for you and you need to take a step back and really look at things perhaps after you just made a decision with that 22 energy of this card all right so pulling back at this time is what i'm seeing fire signs on this fourth of july or whenever you see this reading all right so number 22 and i'm going to read this as an ally because that is how it came out so our ally for this card says the resting tree is a sign for you to stop focusing and planning and be at peace in the moment. So relax. All right. You need to take a step back and take care of yourself. Maybe you've been going too hard. This is a representative of non-action and relaxation. Patience is the key to being with this ally. So this is a great day, Independence Day, 4th of July. Just go out and enjoy the festivities and just try to be, you know, it's a short week. So just chill out, you know, for this week. The resting tree asks you to slow down, sit back and watch the roses bloom and the birds feed in the meadow. Maybe put a bird feeder outside in your backyard. This isn't the time to forge ahead in any way. You may not be talking or sorry, taking enough breaks. So you're invited to be still and contemplate your good fortune, even if it means blessing the chaos in your life. So there may be a lot of chaos going on in your life right now. And it says even blessing that. And I've done this before when there's been a lot of chaos in my life. And guess what? Uh, I blessed a situation where I got left by a partner. It was very devastating for me. I definitely had to go in like this and rest. I got a house out of the deal. So, you know, spirit showed me that I'm always taken care of if I put my energy in the right place. So when you get yourself right, you'll see this. So maybe there's a tree, a special tree also that I was just getting that you like to go to. And this is where you should go, your special place right now and get yourself right. 
This is a sign to allow everything to fall away except the stillness of the moment. It's like living within the space between breaths. All right, that pause. When the resting tree appears, it signals that you have done all you can for now and it's time to unwind and allow your story to unfold of its own accord. You have earned the right to rest and relax. Amazing ideas will come if you do. Remember the ancient saying, we do without doing and everything gets done. Wow, beautiful words to live by. We do without doing and everything gets done. I do without doing and everything gets done. Great mantra that maybe you could tap into while you're resting under that tree. All right, fire signs, let's tap into this. We are needing to get recharged, it feels. Put some work in, it feels like, right? Partnering with ourselves, working on ourselves, getting alone, doing that time. Aries, we're doing a reading for you today. <clears throat> At this time, we'll then get into Leo and Sagittarius reconsider our commitments that we've been making in partner with ourselves or that commitment with ourselves. You know what I mean? Patience and stillness, seeing what it is that we need to see. Maybe we're getting out of a partnership that was nothing but deceitful and deceptive, all right? And needing to rest after this period to get everything right again within ourselves. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on with you. Aries, thank you, infinite spirit. Your card of the past is Ace of Pentacles in reverse, so definitely things could have been going terribly bad in your financial aspect of things. Um, maybe you had something happen where you lost some finances. Oof. Definitely healing from some heartbreak. Definitely working on removing those strings, cutting those cords, things of that nature. There are some great cord cutting uh, types of, and these are used over different, you know, within uh, traditional counseling therapy, as well as, you know, from spiritual perspectives, but you can actually write out all of your feelings around disappointment, heartbreak, this person, whatever it is that you're wanting to release, cut the cord on. Read it out loud then and allow your emotions to come out. Bless the situation. That's the key. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, you've seen the key. And if you do this, if you allow spirit to help you, you will get out of this prison, this energetic prison that perhaps you've been trapped in where perhaps you need to do this healing today. Allow yourself to reconnect to that deeper part of yourself and feel happy, right? Feel happy in your home again, within yourself. This is a need for you to commit to this path and do what it is that is necessary for you. So what is the three of swords in reverse we're gonna look at? This is second, four of swords, here's the three of swords. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it up right so you can see it, but the, the shadow seer says not accepting loss and need to heal being stuck in your grief or sadness, not seeing the part you played in a loss or heartbreak. So be willing to see all of this and really release it so your heart can heal. So the mantra for this card that you can say today while you're sitting under your tree and resting and healing, my heart remains tender and open. My heart remains tender and open. My heart remains tender and open. So that we can tap into the light seer aspect of painful separation, loss, heartbreak, an opportunity to heal, shadows coming to light, and finding inspiration again, finding inspiration within our heart to be able to move forward and see our own value and worth. That is beautiful. Let's clarify and get some advice from Spirit moving forward on our spirit to see what we need to know for our Aries today. Ace of Pentacles in reverse for the past energy. And we have the Knight of Cups, yes. Definitely putting our eggs in one basket, thinking that somebody is gonna come and save the day when really we need to save ourselves. You know, we need to be just as strong and powerful and as much of, um, you know, that, uh, I don't wanna say somebody to save you, but we need to be able to take care of ourselves the way that uh, anybody else could, you know, not have that expect expectation of other people because when we do that, Right? We only end up unhappy and wondering how did we end up in these situations. Three of Swords in reverse. 
for the current energy, this is definitely a need to heal. Perhaps around a King of Wands energy, this would be Aries Leo Sag. You could be dealing with that kind of person, or you could be in your masculine energy right now, really needing to do this healing process and see your part perhaps, and what caused things to end in this situation to a cups in reverse. Stand your ground and know your value and worth. Five of Pentacles. Yes, absolutely. Don't allow anybody to put a bushel over your light. Don't allow them to dim your light. Allow yourself to see the truth and to use your energy in the right way, all right? To end these situations that don't serve you, that don't allow you to be honest with yourself and to be happy, right? All right, so resting tree definitely needing to get away and regroup, get our energy back on track, all right, and see things the right way, patience and stillness, making those decisions, those tough decisions, perhaps, Aries, coming out for you today, the card of forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So put your energy 1111 into that so you can have your happy home, your happy heart, your happy life. Blessings to you, dear Aries. Do hit the like button and subscribe, especially if this resonated with you today. And I will see you soon for another reading. Bye for now. All right, Leo, let us see what is going on for you today with the resting tree energy. We also got, you know, as you saw that first card that came out, the river came and that was all about, you know, getting that stability, going with the flow, letting go. So it sounds like there's something that many of us are, you know, regrouping with today. Six of swords, four of swords. You may have actually moved to a new home, a new location, uh, across the water, you know, river, um, ocean, some body of water, if you will, Leo energy, the emperor and six of swords, yes, making peace perhaps with an authoritative figure in your life, a father, a lover, if you will, all right, so these are the energies I'm seeing coming out so far for you, Leo, past energy, four of swords, you've been resting, you've been healing, it feels like, from something that you really needed to mend your heart over. This is after the Three of Swords energy. So this is something that took time for you to pull back, you know, and really start to feel like yourself again is what I'm seeing. Because look how these cards are very similar with this Four of Swords and this Resting Tree. All right. So there's definitely some healing that's had to be done or you have been doing or needs to be done. All right. Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like you're doing that work. That is wonderful energy to see because it shows that you're putting in the work for your value, your worth. You're turning your back on situations, perhaps, and people that caused you disappointment and hurt, which is really good to see. Ace of Cups moving into the present or into the future energy. I'm going to be interested to see how that comes out because I feel like maybe some of this energy of sadness could be still coming in. But regardless, you're moving forward. I feel like you're going to be getting recognition or stepping out onto the stage, perhaps even. You are going to balance this out. Maybe you're even using the story of what happened to you to talk to other people about it. Wow. Lots of opportunities coming forward, it seems like. And you're looking for them with this Three of Wands energy, looking for that perfect wave that you can go out on and ride into your beautiful future. Get out of this resting place, right? Resting tree pose. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so what is the Eight of Pentacles? Let's take a look at that. Got to find the part of the book real quick here, guys. Sorry. Wands. Oh, I'm having a tough time. Here we go. Pentacles. There we go. So eight of pentacles. Yeah, this is all about you working on yourself. So let's look at this light seer energy since it came out in the upright. Mastering a skill, an expert, craftsmanship, the maraki that you put into your work, methodical process, Patience and determination, soul purpose. Does anybody know what Meraki means? I've never heard of that. 
it says uh, the Meraki that you put into your work. I'm going to say the passion, but it's M-E-R-A-K-I. If anybody knows, put that down in the uh, comment or yeah, comment box below because I'd love to know. So your affirmation, dear Leo, is with loving determination, I persevere and I become the person I long to be. With loving, with loving determination, I persevere and I become the person I long to be. With loving determination, I persevere and I become the person I long to be. By the power of three, a perfect trinity, it is done. This is going to help you by putting that work in to fulfill your cup, to fill your cup to overflowing and to feel happiness in your life. So be aware of putting that work in. Let's clarify everything here today. So maybe resting, you know, maybe you've been putting in a lot of work. Maybe right now you're putting in too much work at the moment and that's going to, you know, have an effect on your emotional state if you're <clears throat> feeling too far, if you will. So it's good to keep moving forward, but not to the detriment of maybe like distracting yourself. Um, to a fault, if you will, like, it's just so you don't have to deal with the inner aspect of things or your emotions, if you will, right? All right, Leo, hit the like button if you're resonating with this message. Let us clarify a little bit further for you. What's this four of swords and the past energy? Yep, absolutely. Somebody you were having definitely trouble working with, partnering with. This caused you a lot of heartache, things you had to go in and rest afterwards from um usually usually this is a, bit, a hard battle and this does look like a battle here somebody was not working with you the way that they needed to and this could have been in love all right but it whatever it was it caused hurt in your heart but you are focused on the love that you know that you have or at least you should be don't block your heart there's so much magic within you with that pegasus energy you know be open to all of your good open up your chakras and open up your energy to allow your heart to overflow what's this eight of pentacles well we have the tower in reverse so this is definitely a need for you to be aware so that you don't have a complete tower perhaps that you need to put in this work don't ignore that all right because we do see the ace of cups moving into the future here. Take that leap of faith on yourself. You deserve it. You deserve to move towards your happiness, all right? Don't, you know, be the one that self-sabotages you. You gotta show up for yourself. Ace of Cups in reverse for the future. Too many cards. But I did see Two of Swords, so be aware of what you need to see. You are the creator of your life, your happiness, your heart. Magician in reverse with the Ace of Cups in reverse. That's not good energy moving into the future. Put into that work to heal. Pull yourself back. Don't do too much work outwardly as far as, you know, um, not taking the time to rest, not taking the time to love yourself, all right? Because you're the only one who is going to save yourself, all right? You know the truth about this situation. Yes, maybe right now this is a period of being alone. This is a period of where you're going to have to do more of it uh, on your own. But you are going to come out a lot stronger in the end if you can trust yourself, believe in yourself. This is definitely a time to rest with this card coming out. If you could do anything, what would it be? Do you know what that honestly is? Because the answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. And if you're too much in your mind, you do need to pull back. Take that time away. Step back. Rest. For the answer, or sorry, the answer dwells not in your, sorry, the answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So if you really want to live your life and be happy, Leo, this is asking you to step back. You've got to and have that balance within your work and your place where you honor yourself, love yourself, take that self-care time for yourself, okay? Blessings for your week ahead, 1919 on the timer. Do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon for another re reading, dear Leo, if I can speak. <laughs> Bye for now. All right, Sagittarius, let us see what is going on with the resting tree for you today. 
definitely needing to get balanced out so we can see that wave when it comes in, right? This is like that being ready for those opportunities is what I'm seeing here. And being patient, right? Being still right now if you need to because it's not the right time to move forward. Everything you're seeing right now may not be the right thing or bring you that happiness or you need to see that cup that spirit is trying to offer you that maybe you're trying to ignore or that good, well-meaning person, you know, or the love that you could really be happy with, but maybe not, may not be your ideal person, but look what it will bring. Empress energy? Whoa, a woman of it, maybe even too. Be careful. All right, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy, please, and thank you for the resting truth. In the past, we see an energy of four of swords in reverse. So maybe you have not been taking that time to rest, to go within and heal, dear. Look at this bird's nest and where would that be? Up in a tree, yes, absolutely. If you have not healed from a situation that really caused you a lot of hurt and distress, this is telling you that you really need to. All right, this is applying to you very much so today, dear Sagittarians, because your happiness is what this is all about. I feel like you are, you know, trying to tap into what that is and asking spirit to help you so that you can be happy again, 2112 on the timer for you. All right, let's see the future energy. Two of swords in reverse, great to see because we're taking that blindfold off. We're allowing ourselves to see our situation, our life, our heart, and you know, all the truths within us and not hide from that, not hold back. That Queen of Pentacles, she is getting her home in order. She is getting herself ready to move. Perhaps you haven't been ready to move just yet, but you're getting into a place I feel where you're becoming more and more clear about where you're going to be happy, about where your world is going to actually be able to be that beautiful new welcoming birth into your life. And Queen of Pentacles is all about having that stable home, being happy and, you know, just everything being, it's like, you know, good food smelling, smells in the house and the house is all clean, you know, mama is there and she's, welcoming you and so happy to see you and telling you how much she loves you. Just, that's how home should feel, right? All right, so let's see what this Four of Swords energy is in the reverse for our dear Saggies. We have to get happy again. Oh yes, it was definitely around the home for sure. Four of Swords in reverse with the Four of Wands in reverse. This definitely took a hit on you, whatever it was, you know, this person leaving because it was a truth. Wow. You definitely couldn't ignore any longer that there was no moving forward with this person, no balance, no future, you know, nothing good was going to come of this kind of situation. What's the Ace of Cups? Yes, we're definitely needing to balance our heart. Be stable, be sure about what it is that we want. And if this past energy wasn't bringing us happiness, we do have to be honest with ourselves and allow ourselves to heal from these karmic situations as opposed to entertaining them and keeping them in the recesses of our heart and our mind. We need to bring balance to this situation and perhaps allow something to be cut out today, all right, with the justice energy showing up. Two of swords in reverse. Definitely, this is showing a need for you to go within, to rest, to look so you can hear your heart because you have seen the truth about something today. The blindfold is no longer on and you know I feel that you need to do this healing because right now I don't feel that you're very happy at all. There is no growth and birth happening in this energy, you know? No baby, no happiness. This person has dipped out. That's like the Limp Biscuit card with the Ace of uh, Wands in reverse to me. So you're not feeling good about this situation at all. This is a time for you to really focus on your happiness, Sagittarius, and understand what that is for you. So you don't have to juggle anymore because look behind you. There's the ship. Turn your back on anything that makes you feel unstable. 
so you can see that ship so you don't have to miss your happiness Sagittarius that is so beautiful to see today all right so let us see what the lover's oracle is saying for you moving forward today oh I didn't read your ace of cups energy let's do that real quick my apologies I definitely have to read your card so Ace of Cups came out in the upright. This is beautiful. The Light Seer energy says, new connections, new romantic relationships, friendships, seeds of love and hope, newfound emotions, awakening the heart, joy, positive outcomes, oneness, bliss, creativity. So your heart is going to sing if you follow the right path, my dear. So here's your affirmation for this week. My heart is open and filled with love. My heart is open and filled with love. My heart is open and filled with love. Overflowing, in fact. Absolutely. No juggling about that. Let's not do that. We want to be happy. That's the ship that we want to see come in. All right. Be brave and be strong. Take that time out that you need for yourself. 2552 for you, dear Sagittarius, on the timer to see what that is, to really be clear, all right, and make that decision that you need to. Lover's Oracle for Sagittarius. And for you, my dear, this is playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy, always. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer beautiful i love this this resonates no matter what the situation is laughing something off in a mocking style like you know i kind of knew that this was going to happen and i don't need to be angry about this i can allow myself to move forward and heal at least i was able to see and you know i can remember and going into next relationships and things of that nature i know better what to look for what to ask for and to be more light-hearted perhaps in the situation and when we do that resting and healing and go within you're going to see what that is what you need to cut out perhaps 22 is a massive Master number, master builder number, all right, and twos are all about decisions. So, my dear fire signs, we need to see what we need to make a choice on today and maybe a different decision about. Do hit the like button and do subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another reading. Bye for now.